We have Ikule Emmanuel who joins uh, the second conversation as we look at the attack by bandits on Buhari's advance convoy in Katsina at of the Salah celebration. Uh, Kule Emmanuel, it's good to have you join us this morning. It's an honor to be here. What do you make of the incidents as regards, uh, you know, the attack on the president's advance convoy? Uh, every responsibility of every leader is the protection of these people. And when your neighbor has been attacked and you don't take caution that you'll be next, that is what happened. The government of the day has not been sincere with the issue of security reform. So these are just the symptoms or the truth of the inadequacies that have rendered the system not being efficient enough to defend the citizens of the country. So, so what, do, what do you think that is the major issue in tackling in security in Nigeria, do you think that we do not, I mean, you know, the security apparatus is not sufficient, they don't have what it takes to tackle security concerns? Or, you know, it could be other issues. I mean, for instance, you have the APC asking for an extension of time to tackle the insecurity situation that we're faced with. Uh, for me, I know that the security agents in the country are competent enough to address this concern in less than one week. But they have been sitting or back and forth in this fight against terrorism and banditry in the country. If the fight is not yet won and you are busy freeing people that have been arrested for the same crimes, you are complaining about it's a problem because you have stressed the security agents to go and arrest people about in thousands and you render their work useless by freeing these people. You know why the fight against terrorism is not yet won. So even they themselves will be discouraged with this. Another thing again here is this. if you arrest people and you are not punishing them according to the laws of the land. They know that, yes, they are both you. That is why you cannot do anything to them. They come on air, actually announce that they are going to attack this area. Give notices of which security get good themselves, but they do nothing about it. So for me, it has always been that the government of the day is supportive of this trend. Because even security agents themselves that have resigned have come out clearly to state that at one time or the other, they have been stopped from actually carrying out their mandate. And some of their colleagues have lost their life because they have insisted on cleaning out the bad eggs in the field. So it shows clearly where the hand or the direction of uh, the, the president or our service chief are. So just like I've always said, we can, in the spirit of moving forward, the National Assembly has to sit and see this as a problem. If they don't see it as a problem and act as check on the president and put pressure on the president to fulfill his responsibility of protecting rights and life of the common man, all this will just be a phone or a normal setting. So he should mandate and give the service chief one week Go to these areas and address this concern. If you cannot do this, you will be replaced. But, but, but um, let, let's also look at, you know, some other issues uh, that are of a major concern. Some people think that this attack would have been avoided if you had a surveillance team. Let's not forget that, you know, the convoy that was attacked is the advanced team of the president. You have a set of people who will go ahead of the president to ensure that everything is all right. I mean, prior to this time, should there not be a surveillance? So um, that's on the one hand. On the other hand, what would you say is the implication of all of this? Especially after, you know, the spin and attack on the NDA. Uh, you want to say that that should be a very strong hold 
um, but a statement has already been made and now you have an attack on you know, the president's advanced team. Does that you know, say anything, really? For me, I've only said it, and I'll keep emphasizing this. If you keep a dog in the house, and gradually you allow the dog to be eating and sharing the same meal with you on the same table, it gets to a time it feels like it's the owner of the house. So the president on its own has been paying lip service to these issues of terrorism for a long time now. This issue could have been addressed, but just as I have said, if he, there's no punishment for anything wrong done, that means more persons will go into it. And gradually, this is also becoming a ministry or, or, or a ministry of its own. Because this person knows very well just to hold one person, kidnap one car, slaughter one human being, achieve their goals, and then people will bring millions and give them. So they are doing this consistently. And in the country's law, what is the punishment for murder? Instead, the, what the government of the day is doing, after the military and all these persons have pressed themselves to arrest even corporate and people that have committed this crime, the government will just sit on its own and feed them. Do we have a functioning judicial system in the country? Why don't the president allow them to carry out their mandate? But instead, we have victims of this uh, terrorist attack being displaced. People still in the north have come out to say they are still paying rent to these people. It means even the military know where these people are staying. Gumi most times also go with security agencies to even have rapport and relate with these people in, 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 in the booking and all that. So the military that know where these people are located. We have the Navy. What is their responsibility? All the service chiefs need to work together to address this concern. And I have always said, there is need to actually, outside the president of the service chief, he shouldn't have the power to let another body like the rules in this. Everything they have to the president is paid. There should be no body that yeah, it is all. All right. Ikule Emanuel, hey. we have to go now. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Uh, we seem to be having some distorted audio from your part, and, and that's on the network this morning. But we really appreciate your time, and I'm sure it's a topic we'd like to talk about as we proceed in the course of the week. No problem. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And that's the size of it. I mean, the attack on... Uh, President Mohammed Buhari's uh, advanced team, it's really, really bad and very sad. And it's just a signal that we need to pay attention to security. Everyone has a right to life. It shouldn't be because, you know, the uh, convoy of the president has been attacked. But what if, you know, you had Mr. President himself on the particular convoy? It's really saddening. But that's the size of the conversation. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Bopo.